Ah, oh, God, this my little buddy over there in the shade. Chilling, he's warming up here in Florida. Anyway, guys, today's project is going to be um, a simple one, but one that I feel like I've really, really been wanting to do for a while since I got the truck. Um, let me sh let me show you uh, what it is. All right. So here's the little truck. Uh, the little truck, as most of you guys know, uh, there's no insulation at all on the roof. It sounds like a thin can. Let me show you. I'm going to tap it on the roof so you guys can hear it. Hear it. See? There's no insulation at all. So... To be able to fix that, I'm going to remove the headliner. But what you need to do to be able to remove the headliner is, uh, of course, remove the sun visors to turn it 90 degrees. Actually, 45. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. I'm not sure you guys were able to tell, but it released. So that's loose there. Uh, the only thing that has the little clips, the yellow, yellow clips, which I don't want to break. See, this is what it looks like. I've removed this is the one on the driver's side. Right now, what's holding the clip to the headliner is this little thing over here. But the headliner itself is loose on this side. All right, guys. So now on the other side, um, for the visor, so just... Phillips screws, two Phillips screws. Let's see the other side. And it comes right out. Since I really don't want to lose the screws or misplace them, I'm just going to put them where they were. This one, and there's the other one. Thin screwdriver over here to remove this little cap. Same thing on the other one. Now you have two Phillips screws. Now this is loose, like some clips on the bottom, slide it up because it slides into the dash over here. The dome light on the driver's side has a little uh, indentation over here. You press it, it should release a little tab. There we go. It comes up, see, so has a little hinge on the passenger side, and it just dangles there. All right, guys, that's a, this is how to remove the clip. You have to turn it 90 degrees. I ended up turning it clockwise, 45 degrees, and it came off. See, to install it, you turn it back in, and then it's on there. I have to say this was really hard for me, really hard for me able to be able to remove it. But I was able to get it. All right, guys, this remove this little cover over here with a little thin piece of screwdriver, and then you have the 10 millimeter screw uh, bolt right underneath it. There it is. You loosen that, and the part is loose. So now guys, the headliner on the on this side, on the passenger side, is only being held by the trim molding over here. I'm using this little pry tool as to remove clips, clip remover. I put it on the edge and I was able to pop the clip on this side. Now I just gotta pop the clip on the other side. There it is. There we go.
Oh, the, the harness is holding it now. So to remove the harness, just press the little button on here. There we go. Nice loose. Slide the little thing out. The little harness. And here it is, guys. So when you put this in, it's just literally just push it and it pops in. This side is all loose. The bolt is out on the driver's side. This little clip is off. The dome light is off. Now this one over here is just sitting there, but it's off also already. See? So right now the headlight is pretty much loose. It's from the back. Back is loose over here. So right now this is the only thing holding it on the side. So let me see if I can remove it. There we go. There we go. Since I put the screws back on, uh, that helps hold it. All right, so it's loose pretty much on the passenger side. Now I'm gonna release it from the clip on the other side and hopefully it's gonna come off. Oh, yes. Uh-oh, got a dome light. Okay, for the dome light. Okay, okay, <laughs> it's off, it's off. So now it's only being held by the cable from the dome light. All right, there it is. The headlight never moved and completely dropped. Right now it's only being held by the little cable for the dome light. As I was afraid, there is absolutely nothing inside. I'm hoping you guys can hear the thin can effect that it has because there's nothing in there. Alright guys, this is what I'm going to be using to insulate, uh, to help with the sound on the, on the roof, on the little truck. Um, it's a dynamite door kit, it's an old one that I have for a long time. Uh, but anyway, that's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and use one of the panels, which is about 3 feet by 12 inches. One tip, um, if you ever use uh, this type of sound deadening uh, it's good to lay it out in the sun for a little bit of course if it's warm um, that way it can warm it up and it's more pliable and it's easier to apply because right now it's a little stiff because it was inside of the house um, once it sits inside the sun for a little while it softens it and it will help out a lot all right guys here it is let me show you again before I put it in What it sounds like. Let me go ahead and put it in now. the little rack it's because it slides easier than my hand so that's why I use the little rack I hope you guys can see what I'm doing Let me go ahead and tap it now so you guys can see the sound difference. But sorry, but my noise, my, my neighbor is uh, cutting the, uh, mowing the, the lawn. But you guys should be able to tell anyway. Let me show you. Let 
there's no resonance at all. This thing sounds solid compared to before. Before it was like a pen can now. Nice and solid. I've done this to all the vehicles before and I 100% recommend it. All right, guys, this worked out so much better than I expected. Uh, what I ended up doing was um, I put it over this uh, B pillar so it can hold it. And then I went to the other side and I pushed it over the, L, over the B pillar also and I put it underneath the gasket. Right now, there's no fastness at all on it. It's just being held by the little gaskets over here. The weather strip that's holding it and this over here so this is the one the bigger one is the one for the coat hanger back here so it's put it in sideways so you put it in sideways turn it and it's on there yes thank god <laughs> There we go. There we go. First thing is I'm going to pitch the harness for the uh, There's a little slot right over here. I'm going to this here. That goes right here. And then plug it in. And then it was tight. There we go. Now we click. And now this one has a little lip. Push it like that. Before pushing it in, I'm going to test it. There we go. It's working. So now we're just gonna push in the little metal clips. There's little metal clips over here, the one I showed you earlier. Uh, These little metal clips, they just get pushed into those uh, rectangles against the roof panel. Okay. There we go. Now we're gonna click also. So now they both click. Press it again. It's good. Definitely recommend the LED light size. Now the last thing you have to just be careful this little cap over here to press it in. All right, guys, just want to say that before I thought about insulating the roof because even when it rains or on the highway, there's a lot of noise inside this little truck. Where well, there was a lot of noise in the truck, now it's such a huge difference the way uh, it quiets down the sound. Um, it was pretty labor intensive, guys. I'm not sure exactly how long it took me, but I was also doing other things. But it took a little while, so if you guys are planning on doing this, um, I'll say just at least set up a good few hours to be able to do this. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you like it, please hit the like button. Help me out. Hit the like button and subscribe. All right? I appreciate it. Um, now that it's afternoon here, sun is finally calmed down. It's almost going to be 6 o'clock. Um, but anyway, guys... Max is inside because it was a little too hot, so I have him inside. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye.